Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag if you're like me. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. This bag is incredibly soft. One of the softest bags I've ever experienced. It looks like a, a little cushion or a pillow. You even can use that as a pillow if you decided to have a nap in the middle of the day. And I'm talking about Loewe Puffer Goya bag. And here we have one in the medium or a regular size in burgundy color. Because I'm a massive fan of Loewe brand and also super soft cushiony bags, I couldn't miss that one. And today I'm ready to share my full detailed review on this beautiful bag and also to show you how it looks on me in a more short section of this video. And also we're going to do some what fits test. Because Loewe is one of the oldest Spanish brands, it's no surprise that the name of the bag Goya comes from the famous Spanish painter and the printmaker Francisco de Goya. At the moment Goya design comes in two versions. The first version, your classic satchel bag, looking very similar to the Celine Triumph bag. And although they are in the same price category, I would say that Goya regular Goya bag is a great alternative to the Celine Triumph bag because it's everywhere and the Goya design is not that popular. And then the Goya regular design comes in two sizes, the regular one and the mini one. And then we have also the Puffa version, incredibly soft. Uh, wow, one of the softest bags that I've ever met in my life. And it's so puffy and it's like literally like a cushion or the pillow. Then when I squeeze that, you can see that on the camera that it's actually losing its shape completely. Mostly because the filling inside, and we'll get back to that in a second. There are several sizes of the Puffer Goya bag, regular or the medium size, also the mini version, and then they also released a um, case, case size, and I absolutely love that size of the bag. Yes, it's mini micro and it doesn't fit barely anything but I really like that. It's so cute, so micro and so tiny. And I also like that they released the version with a longer chain strap. And then they also the case version when you can just attach that as a tiny little bag to your main bag. And as always, Loewe does not hesitate to cheer us up with a different bright and a vibrant colors. And here in the Goya design, we can find any color which we like, starting from the black or this beautiful burgundy or a dark chocolate color and finishing with the lighter colors, like a sand. Although Loewe Puffer Goya bag looks very similar to the Mulberry Softy bag, and here, to be honest with you, I don't know who inspired whom, I would still consider that as a quite original and unique design. You don't see many bags looking like that on the market. I love the idea of the single flap bag, but the bag being unusually voluminous and incredibly soft. It's, the bag is super tactile, and you know I love those kind of bags when you can just attach that and just like, wow. It's made of the Napa Lum leather, which makes it is incredibly soft too and a tactile as well. But you know, when we say uh, Napa lambskin leather, immediately alert, 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 the bag is going to be super delicate and really prone to any scratches, marks and stains. So that's one of those bags that you need to baby. Another feature that makes bag incredibly soft is a goose feather filling. Wow, and that's why it feels like a pillow and that's why it can serve like a pillow. Then also on the front, we have the signature Loewe anagram, which serves as a magnet and it's a quite a large magnet opening here, as you can see, and it's nice and strong. I like when a luxury bag has this strong magnet, which is not wearing out over the years. And it also allows you, when you wear the bag crossbody or on the crook of your arm, easily to open and close it, to find that position when the bag can close it itself. But just be careful because you're going to do that movement of opening and closing the bags quite often, that sort of 
part of the bag can be worn out really quickly. Bag does not have any feet at the bottom. I would probably, yes, I do understand why the by design it doesn't have it because at the bottom the bag is also really, really soft and delicate. And I don't think any feetsies would look really good at the bottom. And therefore you need to be very careful and look down where you're going to put it. On the back, we don't have any back pockets. It's just the back, <laughs> nothing, nothing else. And then we also have a gold chain and I absolutely love design of this, the gold chain, quite unique and unusual. I've been wearing this bag for quite a while now and what I can report that unfortunately, due to this unusual design, it's not, I wouldn't say it's awkward to carry the bag in your hands, but I can feel that it's not 100% comfortable to do that. I compare that to our usual design chain designs and they are more comfortable to wear, which with this one, I can feel that in my palm. The bag also comes with a removable and adjustable long strap, the leather strap. Unfortunately, my version does not have it, but on the website, on Loewe website, you can see that the, all the versions, bigger versions, medium versions of Puffer Goya bag comes with a gold removable chain. And it's really easy to remove that completely and also with a longer removable and adjustable strap. Removable golden chain does not have any 360 rotation as you can see, but it does have a Loewe engraving on one side and the same thing on another side on another hook. By the look on the website, the longer leather removable and adjustable strap to wear the bag cross body also doesn't have any 360 rotation. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. Then we're going to have a look inside the bag to see what we've got there. Let's open the flap there. And as you can see, it's a one continuous piece of the leather there. And I love this idea because when the flap and the main part of the body consist of two separate parts, it's usually create this tiny little pocket over here when the two pieces stitch together and all the crumbs and the dust over the time will get in this tiny little pocket. And as I know from the experience with my other bags, for example, Sandal Laurent Lulu regular toy bag, oh my God, the crumbs are just start living there and it's so hard to get rid of them there. So I absolutely love this idea that it's a one continuous piece on this side and the same thing on this side too. What we have inside, inside, and I should mention here, this tactile journey of pleasure continues. The lining is Napa lambskin leather as well. When you put your hand inside the bag, it's incredibly soft and tactile. And what else do we have here? We have the front pocket. So we do have a two big pockets there. So the front pocket, and then we have a tiny little pocket there as well. It's not big enough to get your large iPhone 16 centimeters long inside there, but we'll show you what we can get inside there. And also we have Aloe Vie Golden Embossing Made in Spain on the tiny little pocket over here. Then as you can see, we have the zipped, large zipped pocket over here with a gold hardware and again, Loewe engraving on the tiny little zip tag. And I like how it's going back into the position. So it's not wobbling around, it's just going exactly into the position. Another nice signature of the luxury bag. And then we have uh, another pocket here, the second compartment. And probably that's, that's us. And as soon as I said that interior of the bag is made of the lambskin leather, we know straight away that it's going to be a super 
delicate and prone to any scratches, marks and stains. And that's why I would strongly recommend to use a leather conditioning on this bag to protect this bag, not just for outside, for the exterior, but for inside, interior of the bag as well. And now it's time to show you what fits test for Levy Puffer Goya bag in the medium or a regular size. But before we go ahead, I want to mention a weight for this bag. With a golden chain, and the golden chain is pretty heavy, it's metal solid golden chain, the overall weight of the bag is 585 grams. But if we remove the chain, which I mentioned quite heavy, it reduced the overall weight of the bag to 415 grams, which I would say for this size of the bag is rather on the light size. But Bluevi is actually famous for making their bags rather on the light side. And we're moving on to the what fits test now. Open the bag and proceed with my absolute essential number one, my iPhone, large iPhone 16 centimeters long. And I will try to put that into the zipped pocket. As you can see, it's not going in. And also, as you can see, it's not going in into the front small pocket either. So we'll just drop it in the main compartment, number two. Then we will proceed with a set of keys. It's a quite a chunky key it's there. And we're going for the front pocket here. Then we're going for the Chanel card holder, kind of like a chunky one. And we're going for the front pocket as well. And here I just need to do a little bit of organizing. all coming in. Then we have a flat card holder and with a flat card holder I wanted to show you that it easily goes into this front pocket here like that and it easily goes in into the zipped pocket too. So keep it like this and then we also have AirPods and here I need to do some organizing too because I kind of run out of space. You might be surprised because the bag looks quite spacious but no, nope. all the space is taken by this puffer details on all on the flap and on the pockets too. So we're kind of already running out of space and you can see that the bag is pretty full by now. And the last thing I will attempt to put in would be this lip balm and it goes on top. Yes, we can still put a couple of maybe tiny objects on top like a lip gloss or something like that, but probably that will be it. And now I will attempt to close the bag. And I'll also show you how the using the full capacity of the bag alter the shape of the bag. So that's what it looks like. Even more puffier, even more chunkier than it was before. Yes, we did use the full capacity and I believe if we try to put in a, even, even a lip gloss, even, I don't know, it's like a small object of perfume, small perfume, we would struggle to close the bag completely. So yeah, the capacity unfortunately is very deceiving in relation to the size of the bag. Now it's time to show you how Loewe Puffer Goya bag in the medium or a regular size looks on me. I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall and I usually wear size 10 UK. The medium size comes with a longer adjustable and removable leather strap. Unfortunately, my version only comes with a golden chain, so I wouldn't be able to show you how the bag looks crossbody. But believe me, you can easily wear this bag crossbody or or a left or a right shoulder. I'm only going to demonstrate to you how the bag looks on me with a golden chain. And as you can see, the drop is big enough to wear it on the right or left shoulder, very comfortably on the crook of your arm or in your hands. 
then you can easily remove the golden chain too or leave the golden chain hanging out like this and wear the bag as a clutch in your hands or underneath your armpits. And because the bag is so soft, like a little cushion or a pillow, it's actually quite nice and enjoyable to wear the bag underneath your armpit. To finalize my opinion about Loewe Puffer Goya bag in the medium size, I just want to say that I really like this bag due to its unique design, very voluminous shape and this beautiful unusual golden chain. Yes, the golden chain is not the most comfortable to work with, but I can forgive anything due to this beautiful unique design and it's removable as well. The medium size comes also with a longer removable and adjustable leather strap. The bag itself is rather on the lighter side of the bags of similar size, especially if you remove the golden chain. It's super tactile. Oh my God, I'm in heaven, guys. It's so soft. Yes, it's mostly due to the very delicate Napa lambskin leather and the goose feather filling as well. That's why you need to baby this bag. Yes, it's one of those delicate creatures. And the other downside of the bag I should definitely mention and for you to keep in mind that the capacity of the bag, yes, deceiving and it's not the best for its size. But overall, if you can forgive all of those things due to the beautiful, unique design, and yes, it's one of those statement bags. It could be one of the statement bags in your collection. This beautiful Loewe Goya puffer bag is your best choice. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to find thumbs up, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.